You want to basically take what the defense gives you. They're going with a vanilla look. They're not really doing a whole lot of blitzing, not showing a whole lot of in the secondary. It's going to be a straightforward read for him. It's going to be an opportunity for him to make some good decisions. I mean, you know, he's had some great days in camp, and he's had some not-so-good days in camp. He's under center here on first down. Play fake. Sends to throw. Deep ball from Franks. He's got Hammond. Josh Hammond, the sophomore receiver with a big catch. This was a great read by the quarterback. Basically, when he got under center, he knew that he had the look that he wanted. He had basically essentially a one-on-one -on -one look on the outside in isolation there. This is a great throw over the shoulder, a great completion. This is an awesome throw because he saw that, that, that safety inside of the hash, and that's what he wanted. That's what he wanted to create, and that's what he got, and that's why he chose to throw the ball there. It's a great decision by a young quarterback. 46-yard reception for Hammond. You expect a big season from him. 14 catches last year, no touchdowns. He's going to have a bigger role. Here's Franks going to the air again. Took a shot toward Hammond inside the five. Incomplete. There you see some of those inconsistencies that you guys were talking about with Felipe Franks. Makes a great throw down the sideline to one-on-one -on -one coverage, keeping Josh Hammond is in bounds, and then that time has him open in the seam, throws the ball a little too hard. Sometimes he gets a little carried away with that arm strength. Take a little off of it, drop it in there to the open receiver. That would have been a touchdown. Yeah, McElwain of Doug Nussmeyer, the offensive coordinator, really anxious to see how he performs here at the big stage. Sure, there are some nerves as it's Scarlett picking his way up the middle. But the only sample, as we talked about, the Gator fans have of Franks prior to tonight, uh, from the time that he got on campus 16 months ago, was the spring game a year ago, and we know how that went. He threw three interceptions. He was so young. That that's a lot to ask of a young quarterback in front of this crowd in this stadium. But he looks good tonight thus far. Josh Hammond, going back to him, who had the long reception a minute ago, he's the person, when I spoke to Kerry Dixon, that is going to be the guy that's going to really emerge in that wide receiver group. Courtesy Jordan Scarlett ramming his way down towards the end zone. I'm telling you, he does everything well. He runs tough between the tackles, and also he has great explosion. We see him on the zone read here, comes downhill, great cut there, keeps his legs churning, takes a bunch of Gator defenders with him. That's what he does well. I mean, he just runs people over. He's not going to make a lot of people miss, but he's going to carry tacklers. He's quick in the hole. You know, very subtle shifts of the hips, gets vertical in a hurry. Very strong, powerful young guy. And it is Scarlett. That time he's hitting the backfield and dumped. Maybe a loss of one on that play for this new look defense, too, for the Gators. That was Cameron Knight, a guy who just moved over from tight end to linebacker, number 84, making the tackle. Andy Shannon, the new defensive coordinator for Florida. So it'll be third down and goal here for the Orange. Hey guys, this is where they need to improve offensively. We talked to uh, Doug Nussmeyer, the offensive coordinator, yesterday. The lack of production in the red zone, one of the focal points in the spring. Let's see if this offense can get it in there for six. Yeah, last in the SEC last year, only 21 touchdowns and 42 trips. It is Scarlett. And he's going to find his way inside the end zone. This is what you have to be able to do when you get down within that three, two, one yard mark. Right there when you're on the goal line, everyone and their mom knows that you're going to run the football. Yeah. The defense knows you're going to run the football, and you have to be able to line up and, plain and simple, run the football down their throat. Another thing, guys, you know, Chris, I think a lot of the dissatisfaction inside the red zone, just too many turnovers. Yeah, well, miscues by the quarterback, can't, can't, you know, not able to get the ball to the running back, throwing bad passes, bad decisions. That's one of the things that's you know, been a telltale sign of this Florida offense. If they can do that, if they can do a good job of scoring in the red zone, it will make a huge difference on their offensive outlook. Eddie Pinero tacks on the extra point as the Orange takes a 7 to nothing lead. The big play, 46 yards, Franks to Josh Hammond. And then... The big man, Jordan Scarlett, pounding it in.